Hi, I'm James Kotecki. You are here with me in the C-Space studio at CES 2020, and we're very excited to have Nada Stirrett, VP Global Business Group, North America, Facebook, welcome to the studio. Thank you for having me, excited to be here. Okay, so VP Global Business Group, everyone knows Facebook obviously, so you don't need to define that, but what is your job at Facebook and what do you focus on? So I run the North America business, and what my team does is it works with advertisers and their agencies across all sizes of businesses, and whether they are a local business that is looking to expand to the national stage, or a whole bunch of disruptors, this, this industry is really fraught with disruption right now in the most exciting way, to the biggest, largest global multinational brands. And is the uh, Facebook remit for you just to the Facebook website, or are you also talking about all the other brands no, in the Facebook umbrella? We're talking about Facebook and Instagram, WhatsApp, Messenger, mm -hmm. really extraordinary portfolio. So um, can you take me through an example maybe of a brand, maybe you can or can't name names, I'm not sure, uh, of, of just how you might work with them if they come to you and say, we want to get better, what are yeah. we doing? And so, in, in general, what our job is to be able to do is come up with incredible ways to be able to take this platform that we have, which is 2.7 billion people, and how do you ignite this community in order to have the business desire, that, the business goal that you want. And so whether it is selling a product or whether it's informing somebody about a new brand attribute, we work with agencies, we work with clients. And for us, it's a, it's a lot about helping them understand the technology and the auction model, as well as getting really creative to have an impact. Um, so what are some of the ways that you've seen creativity flourishing yeah. on Facebook? It's, it's amazing, I would say that it, over the last couple of years, the biggest phenomenon has been using creative canvas, like the mobile creative canvas. Um, it's relatively new in this space if you think about it, and for us it's been a stories phenomenon. And mm -hmm. stories, it's yeah. vertical, it's visual, it's engaging, it's ephemeral. And then we added a whole bunch of AR and VR capabilities to it earlier in the fall and seeing really interesting work, like things like Michael Kors had for their sunglasses, the ability for you to upload your picture, see the sunglasses and really play around with it. Verizon did this fun game over the holidays with elves. And um, so there's just a lot of ways to be able to use this kind of technology in ways that people hadn't man man imagined before. And it's all about how do you ignite this community. You mentioned the word ephemeral, and if I went back in time, let's say five years, and I told marketers, a lot of the stuff you're going to do is not going to be permanent, it's going to be ephemeral, it's going to be there, people are going to see it, and then it's going to be gone, and there won't necessarily be the kind of permanent record of, uh, of like a picture on Facebook right. building up likes over the long period of time. A marketer might say, why would I want to do that? So right. explain why ephemerality, if that's a real word, it is. Is, 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 is good. Yeah, so for a couple things. Number one, it, it's completely shifted the conversation that a marketer has with an individual. We've talked forever, and I've been in the agency business since the 80s, and we've talked forever about how do you capture somebody's attention, and it used to always be about the 15 or 30 second television spot, and then you never knew if they were sitting in there or not, so you wanted to capture their attention. Here you know unequivocally that somebody, you're capturing attention, you're capturing their attention in a very unique moment when they are in this mindset, they've got their device in front of their hands, um, in their hands in front of their face, and then if you do your job the right way, they will continue to have a relationship with you. Because in almost every scenario, you swipe up and you have a deeper, meaningful relationship, but entirely in the control of the consumer. I said at the beginning of this conversation that everybody knows Facebook, mm. but is that really true? Does everybody know Facebook at the, at the level of depth that maybe they should as a marketer? So how much of your job is promoting stuff that people yeah. don't already know about and then how much of it is kind of shaping perceptions people already have? So my job is both. Mm -hmm. It's um, to your question, you're absolutely right. It's, um, we consider it an incredible privilege and we're actually very humble about the fact that for the most part, every single client I'm going to talk to is already on Facebook for their own community, for their personal communities and interests. And when I say Facebook, I mean Instagram, they're using WhatsApp. Um, so it's a very active community on the platform as a consumer. So then what we focus on is number one, absolutely teaching them how to use the platform in better, more sophisticated ways. Um, we do a lot of work on the creative piece of it. And then it's how do you then ignite that community that you know already from a personal standpoint is really important to people for the benefit of your brand or your business. Let's shift gears to talk about diversity mm -hmm. and inclusion because I want to make sure we get that in this interview and it's a very important uh, aspect for Facebook. Uh, what's going on with yeah. Facebook there? What kind of what is Let's, let's talk about a new Facebook employee who comes in, for yeah. example. Uh, what's the promise Facebook makes to its team regarding those issues? Yeah, and so I would uh, back up one way 
for, for one moment. And so diversity is incredibly important to Facebook, and it goes without saying, because every company is going to say that, but if you think about it, we've got 2.7 billion people who use our platform. We have to have a representative employee base for the customers that we serve on a daily basis. I mean, it's the right business decision, and it is, of course, the right human decision to have. And so if you're a new employee walking into Facebook today, I want to make sure that in addition to making sure that we have the most diverse population that you feel very welcome, but most importantly that you feel included, you feel heard, you feel respected, and you feel like you can be your authentic self. Uh, you actually mentioned uh, that you are a first generation immigrant yes. yourself and that you told me something I learned today and brought in my cultural understanding. Today's Serbian Christmas. Is yes, that right? it is, yes. as a matter of fact. So uh, what do you say uh, to, to Merry Christmas? You, what do you say, Hristo Serodi. And I respond with Vaistina Sarodi. Well, awesome. See, we're just, we're just making, I mean, we're fluent we're, together. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're, just, we're just engaging in, in cultural learning, which is really yeah, cool. And that's yeah. obviously something that people do on Facebook yeah. all the time. Um, let's talk yeah. about, though, how diversity and inclusion yeah. is reflected in advertising. Yeah. Because this is something that marketers and advertisers, I'm sure if we were here at CES five years ago, everybody would have been saying the right things. How are yeah. people actually doing the yeah. right things? What is working for people now um, uh, when, when they put together their advertising campaigns? And so I think from a campaign standpoint, um, it is really, really important that people are thinking about diversity in front of the camera as well as diversity behind the camera. On the diversity in front of the camera, here's what's been so cool is there's been this movement, and I would say probably the eight, last 18, 24 months, things like the ANA and their campaign on See Her. The notion for girls growing up today that if I see her, I can be her, and seeing women in leadership roles and different types of roles. I love what Dove Men has done with this. They, they've shined a light on paternity leave and the importance of that. And so a lot of really good work on the front, on front of the camera. Um, what's been interesting, and this is us as Facebook, the marketer, thinking about we have five advertising agencies that work for the Facebook business, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, mm -hmm. Messenger, and we have put a stake in the ground and we said we want to make sure that in addition to having diverse representation and again 2.7 billion people we want to be able to express that diversity in all of our own marketing messages but we have an expectation that there will be diversity behind the camera as well and you have to be able to put these types of stakes in the ground we did the same thing for our internal population this past fall we said to the industry at large recognize that diversity is a journey and you, it's a combination of education and accountability and on the accountability part we are putting a stake in the ground and we are saying in five years time we will have 50 percent of our employee base be of an under, underrepresented class like you have to be able to make those really strong statements and then you have to make sure that you have the education and the accountability to run with this yeah does that does that look like what when you when you translate that broad goal all the way down to kind of brass tacks does that, does that look like when you're interviewing a new employee, the interview process looks different? Like how far mm -hmm. down the process does that actually go? Because I think people, I think people want to know, like yeah. how do I actually do this, implement this on a day-to-day -day yeah. basis? Because I think a lot of people want to do this and, yeah. and they struggle with it sometimes. And so we published, our, we published our diversity findings and our diversity research because we believe that we can lead the industry. And we've been, we, just, we just published our sixth one. So we've been at this mm -hmm. for six years. Diversity is a journey and people have to understand that. But you're 100% right. I need to make sure that if I'm coming to work for Facebook, I need to look around and I need to be comfortable that people who look like me and think like me and would respect me are talking to me. And so it's really, really important that you start, at, again, it's one step at a time from the diversity standpoint. But now inclusion, on the other hand, is immediate. And I say inclusion is the easy part. The, and the reason why is because between education and accountability. On the education side, you have to invest in your leaders and you have to invest so that they understand the nuances of microaggressions. You have to, you have to educate and you have to spend the money to make sure that everybody knows that. And then the accountability, again, that is easy. I tell every single one of my leaders, making sure that their employee base feels welcome and heard and respected is on them. And I, I liken it and I simplify to say, we as leaders have a moral obligation to be decent human beings. And like, who's going to argue with that? Hard to, hard to object to that one. Uh, in the closing moments of this, I want to talk about just some broad strokes ideas about the future. We're here sure. at CES 2020. 2020 is, to me, by far the most futuristic sounding yeah. year that we've had, at least since the year 2000. Um, <laughs> but you're looking ahead to the year 2020. Yeah. What are you excited about for you and your team? I am most excited about creative. I know we're in this technology world right now, but I'm most excited about creative because I think, especially you know, being very fortunate at Facebook, we are already 
the most sophisticated ad allocation platform that's ever been invented. And so let the platform do what the platform does. And so how do you extract greater value and nuances on top of that platform? And all research shows that creative becomes the biggest difference in having a response or a positive interaction versus a boring one. And I think it's so incredible. And this is what I love about technology. The more you have conversations about technology, the more advanced that technology gets, yeah. it always gets back to the person, the human yeah. ideas around creativity. And I know that as many Facebook executives have sat in the studio and told me, Facebook is all about people. That's exactly <laughs> right. Um, so, not a stir out of Facebook. Thank you so much for joining us here in the C-Space studio at CS 2020. Thank you so much. It's been a lot, lot of fun. Great. Well, thanks so much for joining us here. I'm James Kotecki. Keep it right here. The live stream interviews here in the C-Space studio at CES 2020 will continue. Thank you.